Hi. I would like to give it up to Black Sails, which is the most bisexual show on television. I used to think it's Lost Girl, but <laughs> no, no, it's not. It's Black Sails. Now, this show is so bisexual that I can't tell you everything about it without giving you spoiler warnings. Here's what I can tell you without spoiling anything for you. Black Sails is a show about pirates during the, the golden age of pirates, which is basically the early 1700s to the mid 1700s. The main female character on this show is a woman by the name of Eleanor Guthrie. She is bisexual. And we learn this in the first episode uh, where she first talks about Captain uh, Charles Vane, who was a pirate, who was her ex-lover. And then at the end of the episode, we find out that she is currently sleeping with Max, a prostitute from the local brothel, who she is in love with. Now, why do I call this the most bisexual show on television? Number one, every dramatic moment on this show happens because of the love that a bisexual character has for sometimes a someone of the opposite sex, but for the majority of the time, it's for someone of the same sex. And if that was enough to convince you to watch the show, because it's a good show, it's, I'm from the Bahamas, right? Nassau is the capital of the Bahamas. This show is about the pirates living in Nassau and all of the merchants, merchant stuff around it, all the politics around it. It has humor, it has drama, it gets dark. It's really, really a great show. And I'm not just saying that because I'm, you know, a bisexual from the Bahamas. No, no, it's a great show. And if that's enough to convince you to see the show, then I suggest that you turn off the video right now and go watch the show. It's on stars. However, consider that your warning because Eleanor Guthrie is not the only bisexual on this show. A second bisexual would be Anne Bonny. Anne Bonny is someone who I learned about in Bahamas history because, again, she is a famous pirate. And Anne Bonny, uh, historically and on the show, was a lover of, of um, Jack Rackham from the age of 13. And we meet her and she's in her 20s. And in the show, Max, who was the lover of Eleanor Guthrie, ends up doing something bad and she ends up owing a debt to the pirates. And to pay back that debt as a prostitute, she sets herself up on the beach on what's referred to as a fuck tent. And the crew of uh, one of the pirates, one of the pirate crews, earn back what she owes them by continuously going in and having sex with her and eventually turns into really dark sex stuff, right? But Anne Bonnie is watching this thing the entire time and she is really incensed by this and everyone's wondering why until the point where she actually takes her out and she goes and kills her crew in order to rescue this woman. And everyone's like, why? Why would she do this? It turns out in season two, it's because she's in love with Max. So she is very much in love in a long-term relationship with Jack Rackham, but she's also in love with Max. And it turns out that, she, that Anne Bonnie pulls the two of these people into a threesome. And it causes a tremendous amount of drama. So there you have it, two bisexuals on the same show and both having dramatic consequences for their actions, for the love that they have for someone of the same sex. Now, if that is enough to convince you to see the show, then I encourage you to turn off the video now because if you don't, there will be more spoilers. Consider this your warning because there is not just two bisexual characters on the show, there are three. I make videos about bisexual, about shows that have 
bisexual lead characters. And Eleanor Guthrie, as great as it is that she's the female lead on the show, she is not the lead on the show. The lead of the show is a character by the name of Captain Flint. He's a guy. And this is fascinating. So when we're introduced to Captain Flint, the, the protagonist of the show, he is keeping a woman on, on Nassau, on the island, uh, whose name is Mrs. Marlo, um, Barlow. And everyone's wondering who she is. And eventually, like episode two, episode three, he goes up, he sleeps with her, they have sex. And from the sex that they're having, um, you realize that, you know, that he's not having a great time with the sex at this, on this particular moment, like he's distracted. And they go on, they fight about what it's about. And it goes on like this. But during this entire time, Captain Flint is just killing people left and right, and he's after he's cold, and, and it's, he's just kind of ruthless. And the entire time you're wondering, why is this the case? Why is this the case? Season two rolls about, and then they start going back into his history. And who is this Mrs. Barlow? Who is he? Turns out that he was, before he was a pirate, he was in the English Navy, and he was assigned to counsel Mrs. Barlow's husband. Um, Mrs. Barlow's husband was trying to figure out a way to bring NASA back into the fold and out of the piracy thing. So he's the Navy consultant and they're talking and going back and forth. And then you realize that, um, that Mrs. Barlow, the wife of this man, decides that she wants to have an affair with Captain Flint. So they go off and they have some sort of affair and it seems to continue for a while until one day and it turns out that they have a long-term loving romance Captain Flint and Mrs. Barlow's husband while Mrs. Barlow knows. And the reason why Captain Flint has turned into a pirate is because they have locked away Ms., um, Mrs. Barlow's husband, Captain Flint's lover, because Mrs. Barlow's husband's father has discovered it and they put him into a insane asylum. So them, Mrs. Barlow and Captain Flint, decide they're gonna take care of each other, decide to escape to the Bahamas where they continue to have a relationship but at the same time, Captain Flint is boiling mad at, at what civilization has done to them, and he's become a pirate in order to fight civilization. So the entire show is based around the fact that Captain Flint's lover was taken from him, and he's setting the world ablaze, scorching the earth because of it. Now that is a bisexual television show. Now here's the downside. If you remember my video about Shades of Blue, uh, you, might, you might remember that the creator of the show kept on referring to the bisexual character as gay when he would do articles, write articles and stuff like that. The creator of this show has referred to Captain Flint as gay as well. Now, Maybe he thinks of him, thinks of him as, a, as a gay man who has sex with women, who I would refer to as being a bisexual, but there is no way this is a gay character because Mrs. Barlow knows that he had an affair with it, her husband. I mean, it, she, he was okay, she was okay with it. And then from about 1702 to 1715, over a decade, they have presumably a sexual affair. So, Obviously, Captain Flint has sexual attractions towards women, at least he did for 10 years after his same-sex affair. So there's no way possible that this is a gay man. He is clearly bisexual. And this is a case of yet another show creator thinking they're creating a, a gay character than in actuality creating a bisexual character. Their ignorance is our gain. What can you say? Well, again, we'll cut them some slack because they have created the most bisexual show on TV. Well, that's it. 
Uh, if you like it, check it out. It's on Stars. Um, and if you've not heard of the network, uh, you can get it. It's the same network that has Outlander on it. If you've heard of that romantic uh, show about this woman who goes back to ancient Scotland and falls in love with this dude, same network. Um, and if you're interested in getting it, you and if you have Amazon Prime, you can get it for $8.99 a month, but you can get a free week with it. So you might be able to watch the entire series, which is eight episodes per season, three seasons so far. 28 episodes, I know the math, uh, 28 episodes currently, um, and you might be able to get through them with that first week for free if you have Amazon Prime. Otherwise, it's $9.99 it's a month or $12.99 a month or $12.99 per season. But check it out. It's really a wonderful show, and I'm not just saying that because it's recanting my entire Bahamas history um, with all the pirates and stuff, and it is pretty accurate, although it's not shot in the Bahamas, so oh well for that. But still, <laughs> check it out. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I do many videos on the bisexual topic, but I don't do them on a regular basis. So if you want to know when a new video comes out, you have to click on that subscribe button and click on that other button that says, let me know when a new video comes out. Until the next video, stay cooler, my bisexual friend. Stay cooler. Bye.